your side. Yeah. We are about to start the shoot for the Canon C100 Mark II. We're in the uh, house out here in Johnson City and just a lot of things happening at once, trying to get lighting set up, getting our actors in the right wardrobe, about to go in hair and makeup, but it's going to be a pretty crazy two days. On the shoot itself, there's a few things that um, were really important to create the vibe and atmosphere that we wanted for this film. One of those things was using a hazer, and that haze is more of an atmosphere. It's not about making it foggy, but it's being able to visually see the air. And being able to see that air gives you layers. It was creating those layers that you can see. Moving on? Moving on. All right. Mike, let's just bring the light over first. Okay. And let's see about firing it just straight through yeah, here. Because this is so there. thick, and yeah. I would love more so to create like a nice beam of light coming through. Mm -hmm. Sure. We put about two weeks or so of work yeah. into building the story, the shot lists, prepping everything as far as props and locations and camera equipment. It's not just something that happens randomly or by itself. It's a lot of time and effort into the pre-production process. For the flashback sequences, I wanted to have an authentic camera movement feel to it. That meant using a shoulder rig. We're using the Zacuto recoil rig along with the Gradical viewfinder. We also have the grip relocator set up with the AF lock so I can easily turn on and off autofocus. The grip relocator also allows you to adjust any settings at a moment's notice. I could turn on autofocus to check my focus itself or I could track objects throughout my frame by leaving it on autofocus. Just take this. Really important for the flashbacks that they connected perfectly. So when you see each transition, that's either something moving across frame that takes us into the next scene, <laughs> is very carefully constructed. That was awesome. It takes a really amazing team to pull off a film like this. In the amount of time we did it, and with the amount of different setups we had to do. Everybody is doing lots of different jobs, and that's kind of the part of being in the smaller production world is that you wear a lot of hats to make things happen. And action! But we did one really cool thing with this 100 to 400 lens um, where we had them track as they ran towards us, uh, actually use the autofocus to track the whole way through. <laughs> We're here at the sunset scene. This is our first evening sunset. We're doing a proposal scene. Um, the light is looking pretty ridiculous. We got uh, just a little bit of bounce to give us some fill. We're still on the handheld rig. Um, been mostly shooting the Canon 50mm 1.2 um, most of the day on this rig to give it a really um, first person feel. The nighttime scene at the Sparkler Expo, we used a Movi M5 for that shoot. Um, that's going to be a very smooth pullout. Being a nighttime scene and shooting slow motion is not easy, but with the C100 Mark II, we were shooting at 6400, uh, and there's no noise in the image. It looks really beautiful. We had a couple other nighttime scenes that were pretty ambitious. We basically took this truck out into the middle of a field. It's pitch black. We're in the middle of the countryside. Our ISO is at 20,000 ISO, which is really high. I mean, that's crazy. But when you look at that shot, you can see the stars. You can see the talent's hand sticking out of the back of the bed with a flashlight. It's pretty remarkable that you can see all of those stars. We're using a flashlight that is bouncing off the book itself and lighting their faces. And so that's a really cool thing. It's just, we're using a practical light. Uh, wanted to make it as natural looking as possible. And it's just really nice at how smooth that roll off is onto their faces and that you can light a scene with a practical light. Good morning, sir. We're gonna go outside and play with some horses. Day two. <laughs> We're waiting for the sun. 
it's about to crest and then we're gonna do this sweet silhouette shot with the talent and some horses. It's early the next day and it's cold. Traveling through their love story, one of the events was a camping trip that they had fun on. And we have the tent collapse, and then the sheet's gonna basically fly up over the lens, and then we're gonna be in a bedroom playing in the bed where a pillow hits them. So it's a pretty awesome transition between the two. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Today was the first time I tried the face AF function on the C100 Mark II. Uh, you have to have an STM lens, it's a really cool feature, um, and I look forward to trying it more in the future. Action. Working on the final sequence that's actually in the film, uh, which is the couple that's now in their 60s, um, and they're here with their truck that they still own and have have kept up. So we are working on getting the final wide shot um, of the piece. Look at each other. Right. right now we're getting ready for the last scene of the shoot. This is uh, the car scene where the couple's gonna be driving at sunset. We have a hostess tray car mount that we have here. We're using the C100 Mark II. We also have the 24 to 105 lens. The uh, reason we're going to use this is because we have uh, IS on here and that'll allow us to not get too many bumps. We have the Wi-Fi turned on on the camera, which enables us to use an iPad to both view the image and also make adjustments. So we can change the f-stop or ISO. Um, we can also turn on and off AF lock. We've been using a few different frame rates as well as a lot of different shutter speeds during the shoot. Uh, we've been using 24p and then also 60p. I'll vary depending on how much shutter movement I want and how much shutter blur. Um, generally when I'm shooting 60p I'll be at 120 but sometimes I'll go down to 90, sometimes I'll go down to 60 depending on the feeling I want. Bye guys, we love you. And that's a picture wrap. <laughs>